Greetings. I'm Joshua Meredith coming to you from the digital studio at Georgetown University School of Continuing Studies. In focus today, sports and virtual reality. I'm, I'm joined by Jeb Terry, the VP of Partner and Program Development at Fox Sports. Thanks for being here. Jeb, as the emerging technology of, the virtu of virtual reality enters the world of sports and broadcasting, where do you see the best areas for opportunity? It's kind of a loaded question, Joshua. I mean, there, there, there's so much opportunity in the space right now as the just development curve of tech in general, especially on the, how we're broadcasting games and then the way we can activate around that broadcast. Connecting with fans through a second screen, multi-angle experience, all on their phone, near real time. I mean, that, that's the opportunity is how we connect that excitement that's going on in venue, the product that we're broadcasting. How do we bring that excitement, that energy to the fan wherever they are and however they want to consume it? And that's a, a big focus of ours moving forward. Absolutely. Let's talk a little bit about the fan and athlete experience. How do these new technologies impact the fan experience and the athlete experience in terms of uh, allowing them to view their sports or play their sports better? Yeah, it's almost like watch how you want to watch, right? And this all-access notion is this new technology, VR, AR, you call it what you, what you might want, but it's got the power to transport you, the fan, from your couch to the stadium or from the park to the player's locker room, right? It allows them to experience that point of view that they might not well otherwise have access to. And from the players, it's the visualization. It's the reps that you can get in your head and your eyes without the actual, the physical exertion it takes to practice, allowing you to visualize um, while in rest mode, which will actually help you improve your game down the road. So the sky's the limit of where this stuff is going. And uh, I'm, I'm just fortunate to have a seat to, to, to be part of it. Right, talking about the fan experience, how will these new technologies integrate with social media? Uh, social is, is it's where everybody is, right? So we have to be able to take all this really amazing emerging tech, boil it down and make it shareable, make it consumable by fans, whether it's on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Snapchat, the next XYZ company, right, where all the mm -hmm. fans are. We need to make sure we make that content available to the fans and we make it easily shareable. And, and we're starting to tip that scale right now with all the 360 video developments in the space. And, and so I think we're gonna see that more of that um, with AR kit from Apple, um, Facebook developing its own AR language as well. And I think we'll just continually to see this evolve so that fans can get that next level experience on the platform they prefer. Absolutely. How will Fox Sports be innovating in terms of game coverage this year? Yeah, it's, it's about trying to get to the fan on, on their social platform. It's bringing them the alternative view. It's, it's how can we take that fan who might love watching the game on TV and then take them to the eyes of the ref, right? Take them to the sidelines, add in more graphics, m more, more stats, a deeper dive into what makes the players tick and what makes the game run and how to predict that outcome. I think you'll see us bring more and more of that to the TV production right and then also to what we're doing the second screen what's in your pocket how we reach you the fan wherever you are and give you the flexibility to engage with our highest quality production possible jeb thank you so much for joining us it's been a pleasure talking with you, thank you. and thanks to everyone out there for wa for watching stay tuned for more from the lg digital studio at georgetown scs